In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to enter contractor and subcontractor details within the CIS utility of BrightPay. Please note BrightPay's Construction Industry Scheme utility is only available to standard and bureau license holders only. To get started, simply select CIS followed by Contractor Details on the menu toolbar. Enter your Accounts Office Reference and Unique Tax Reference followed by your user credentials if not already entered in the software. Also select the settings to be used as default when adding a new subcontractor. Click Save to save your entries. Subcontractors can be added either manually or by importing details via CSV file. To manually enter your subcontractor details, click Subcontractors followed by New. Under Registered Details, enter the subcontractor's trading name and select the business type applicable to the subcontractor. Enter the subcontractor's 10-digit UTR as issued by HMRC in the field provided, as well as any additional information required based on the business type selected. Next, indicate if the subcontractor is registered for VAT and include the VAT number where applicable. Once a subcontractor record has been saved, users can verify subcontractors online with HMRC by selecting Verify Online. Alternatively, verification details can be added manually. Should you opt for this option, simply click Manually Enter Verification Details and select the tax payment status applicable to the employee. Enter the subcontractor's verification number and verification date accordingly. Under Additional Details, enter a works number for the subcontractor if desired. If the subcontractor wishes to receive password protected payment and deduction statements by email, enter the password that will be needed by the email recipient in order to open and view these attachments when received. To allocate a subcontractor to a department, click on Add Department Association and choose the desired departmental name from the drop-down menu. If the relevant department has not yet been set up, simply click on the Employer tab to set up the department name required. A subcontractor can be allocated to more than one department if required. To do this, click on Add Department Association again and select an additional department from the drop-down menu. Set the subcontractor's weighting in each department by dragging the bars to the percentage required. Next, enter the subcontractor's address and postcode. Enter a contact email address for the subcontractor if required. Select whether it is a work address or a personal address from the drop-down menu. To add additional email addresses, click Add Email Address and repeat the process. If more than one email address is added, specify which is to be the primary address. The primary email address will then be used for the emailing of payment and deduction statements. Also, enter a contact telephone number for the subcontractor if you have this information. Select whether it is a work or personal phone number from the drop-down menu and then enter the telephone number. To add additional phone numbers, click Add Phone Number and repeat the process. If more than one phone number is added, specify which is to be the primary contact number. Under Payment, select the subcontractor's pay frequency. BrightPay caters for tax weekly and tax monthly pay frequencies and users can instruct the software to include the subcontractor for payment in all tax periods or can specify a period range in which the subcontractor is to be paid. If the subcontractor is to be hourly paid, enter their standard hourly rate in the field provided. If more than one hourly rate applies to the subcontractor, click Add Hourly Rate to set up another. Enter a description of your choice for the additional hourly rate and indicate whether this hourly rate is to be classified as an overtime rate. Likewise, enter the subcontractor's standard daily rate in the field provided, if applicable. If more than one daily rate applies to the subcontractor, click Add Daily Rate to set up another. 
enter a description of your choice for the additional daily rate and indicate whether this daily rate is to be classified as an overtime rate. Please note, weekly and monthly basic pay amounts are accommodated in the payment utility. Next, select the subcontractor's payment method from the drop-down menu. If paying by credit transfer, the subcontractor's bank details must be entered in order to pay the subcontractor using the bank payment facility in the software. To complete the subcontractor's record, enter any other notes of importance in the notes section as desired. Your subcontractor record is now complete. Click Save to save your entries. Click New on the menu bar to manually set up more subcontractors. Alternatively, subcontractor details can be imported into BrightPay via CSV file. To access this utility, go to File, Import Export Data and Import Subcontractors from a CSV file. Browse to the location of your subcontractor CSV file. Select the required file and click Open. Your subcontractor information will be displayed on screen. For each column, choose the subcontractor data it represents. Ignore any columns and uncheck any rows you do not wish to be imported. To assist with column selection, under Options, simply select Try and Match Columns to CSV Header Row Titles. BrightPay will try and match as many columns as it can for you. Click Import to complete the import of your employee information.